Welcome to HumanDesignPlanet.org. I'm Kashi Rachel Stone. Generators. Generators to me are like electric sunshine. They radiate energy out and they take energy in. They are experiencing and embracing life to its fullest in every way. This planet is a generator planet for sure. There are two kinds of generators. There is sacral and there is emotional. And they are very, very different. Very different. Operate completely different. The sacral generator operates in the moment. And it responds to life as it comes. It does not initiate, it waits and waits for life to come to it. And in that moment, as it's moving about, it uses its sacral voice as its inner authority. And the sacral voice can be heard in the mm-mm, uh-huh, uh-uh, mm, ah. And that's where we hear our truth as our sacral voice speaks throughout the day as we interact, navigate, and move about. And it's very important to respond to that voice. It protects you, it gets you the best opportunities, and it can bring you success in life. It also gets you the best deals and the best meals. <laughs> The emotional generator operates very differently. They actually can't really rely on their sacral voice because the emotional motor is the most powerful motor of all and it trumps all other centers. So even though there's a sacral, however they're feeling in the moment is how that sacral voice is going to come out. So it's not really something that they can rely on. And they really don't respond to things in the moment. They push them away and give themselves time. And what they can see is gradually things just slowly unfold in front of them. But they never have clarity. The most clarity that an emotional generator can have is roughly 60%. And that's if you're lucky. So the emotional generator needs to learn how to surrender and just wait for life to come to it and watch it unfold in front of it and experience the highs and the lows and observe how colorful the emotional trajectory is in how it experiences life through its reactions and its melancholy and its excitement. Now both the sacral and the emotional can become highly distorted easily through the imprints of other people's auras. So if you are in a home where there's family or housemates or a lover who's sleeping near you or that you're spending a lot of time with chances are you're not in your pure chemistry and you're being imprinted. So generators can often feel like manifesting generators inside because of these imprints from other people's auras. And this can make them fast and jumpy and impatient. When in fact generators are very slow they are like the waves of the ocean. They have a very steady rhythmic flow in their activity and movement. But because of the way that they've been trained... Another important reason why generators should sleep in their own aura is to uh, really be in their own chemistry and be free of these imprints of other people's auras because we're not fast at all and I I thought I was fast for many years I thought that was my natural flow and rhythm 
And not until seven years into my experiment with human design and using my strategy and authority on a daily basis every moment, did I truly begin to see in a profound way just how slow I am as a generator and how much slower I am as an emotional generator. So if you're a generator, sacral or emotional, this is where I would encourage you to really focus and concentrate in um, coming into your own chemistry and feeling how slow and rhythmic you are in your movement rather than scurry, busy, fast-paced. That's not us.